Uh, he's a Georgia, Pica uh, who am I kidding? He's a Georgia nut. Ladies and gentlemen, start clapping for Liz Torrey. How's everyone doing tonight? That was pretty good, that was pretty good. Did anyone woo over here? How's everyone doing tonight? Better, better, okay. Okay, now all together? I like this handicap of being the student. I can just get you to do whatever you want. Hey, guy over there, yeah, you, get on the table and dance. I need it for my act, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, has anyone been to In-N-Out? I don't know why they call it In-N-Out. It should be in, and I've been here for eight hours for a subpar burger. God damn, right? Some people argue with me, but I don't think it's worth the wait. Lying out in the highway. I got a yes, always, over here. I'm glad you backed them up. Thank you. Uh, I'm transitioning into a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, I didn't bring the wig tonight. Usually I bring wigs so that I can express myself. Apparently it's more legal than running around naked and saying this is my non-binary penis. <laughs> Someone always yells out, it looks like three balls. <laughs> Built like a field mouse. Yeah, um, where I come from, I'm a junior. Uh, my dad's name was Lee, and he insisted my name be Lee. God, I hate the name Lee. If you're Asian, I'm sorry, no offense. Good for you, not good for me. Uh, but I recently went back to Georgia, and I had everybody in front of me, and I decided I'm going to come out of the closet. Yeah, I'm going to come out of the closet right here, right now. And I told everyone as I was staring at them very much like this, and I said, from now on, I'm Liz Torrey. Don't call me Lee anymore, or Junior, just Liz Torrey. And I thought everybody was going to applaud, but they didn't. Instead, my bitchy Aunt Linda stood up in the back and said, I don't understand why you have to do this at your father's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm non-binary, gender fluid, to be exact. What does that mean? <laughs> Some days I, I wake up and I'm a raging bitch! <laughs> Other days I wake up and I want to over-explain everything to women <laughs> and I can't find the G-spot. It's like it's a myth. <laughs> Unicorn! <laughs> I come from a long line of superstitious con men. Preachers, preachers, yeah, sorry. My grandfather was a preacher, my dad was a preacher, my grandmother could have been a preacher, but she didn't think that women were smart enough to spout fairy tales from the pulpit. The rest of them are religious. Wait a minute, it's gonna get worse. The last time I, I stepped the last time I stepped into a church where no one died, I was a kid. And I was sitting there with my bitchy Aunt Linda and we were just a singing, I saw the light, I saw the light. Then boom, she stood up. Suck a dong, suck a dong, suck a long, long, dong, 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 long, long, long. And I was like, Paul, Paul, cause of course he was up there leading the, uh, the ministry. Aunt Linda's dying. I don't know why she keeps screaming these words. And she, he says, no, she's not dying. She just caught the Holy Ghost. You can catch the Holy Ghost like it's the flu. Oh, my God. It was so terrible because as I was sitting there and I was, I was feeling repressed and these lights were getting brighter in the building and then all of a sudden three more sons of bitches popped up behind me. Suck a dong, suck a dong, suck a long, long dong. Oh. I got the hell out of there. One star would not recommend going to church. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really the religion that's the problem. It's not. Uh, going over this on a Sunday at 5 p.m. 
so perfect. You just went to church, now come and listen to the Antichrist. Uh, the religion is not the problem. It's not. It really isn't. Lots of children have imaginary friends. The problem is when the kids want to kill you for not doing what their imaginary friends said to do. Oh, I killed you on that one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Here's, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Right? There's Job. Didn't Job actually bet? That wasn't Job's life bet on by God? Yeah. Didn't Jesus flip a table after that? Yeah. Wasn't Jesus crucified after that? Yeah. Wasn't Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed because someone was rude to an angel? Yeah. I guess I'm just saying sometimes it's better to be pegged by Satan than fucked by God. <laughs> I'm Liz Tory. Go home and do some butt stuff. <laughs> Keep it going for Liz Tory, everybody.